Okay, I'm gonna make I'm making a video on show you how to undervolt your CPU. So it uses less power, produces less heat, and it extends the life of your CPU with no no performance hit at all. All credit goes to Flip Fire. He made this guide on NoputReview.com. It tells you how to do it. But I'm just making a video to make it either quicker or easier process for you. Okay. All links are going to be posted on the more info on the side to the right. So you can just click there to download everything. First, you have to download. Either you can go here and download them, or you can just go here. You need to download Iron Clock Utility 2.35. Either one. Just download the ESC to install automatically. Install that. You need to go download what version fits you to 64-bit or 32-bit of hardware monitor. So you can mo monitor your temps, maybe voltages, depending on what your computer has. And to note, older computers, most old computers won't work with this. Most newer ones will. I'm not sure about desktops, but I think la most new newer laptops should work with this. And it really helps. Okay, once you got CPU um, hardware monitor downloaded and, and this downloaded, then you need to download Orphros, which is going to go here. It's a stress tester to tell you if your um, CPU uh, is stable or not. You can download it from a lot of different places, but otherwise, as I'm just going to show you real quick what you have to do. Once you have everything downloaded, you need just to get a rough benchmark of what your computer is now. Start a part of a monitor. Let's put this here. I'm already on the vaulted, so I'll do some more temps right now, but. I'm gonna post my before and after temps behind the more info as well. You need, I'm gonna go get or first open. And this is just a program that runs. You don't have to install or froze or the hardware monitor. You do have to install this or it won't work. But I'm gonna start or first. Put on C stress CPU. And then you can see the temps rising right here in my north bridge and everything. I'm just going to stop that. You should do it for about probably 10 15 minutes. Just give you probably your max temperature. And you can, if you're interested, you can just record it to see how low, how much of a temperature drop you're going to get once you're under volt your processor. I'm just going to stop this. Set mine at CPU. You can stress your RAM as well if you wanted to. Or do a different stuff. I just do mine on the CPU. Okay, you have that. First, what you're going to do is you're going to install this program. CPU arm clock program. What you're going to do is you're going to go to advanced CPU settings you're gonna click apply these settings to start up otherwise you're gonna have to just start at the program manually every time and it won't undervolt your processor you have to have this program running to be able to have your processor undervolted it should auto detect your CPU if not just choose what type of CPU you have you can play around with these to get more power efficiency out of your processor if it has them I'm on a mobile CPU, obviously, so it has different technologies in desktop CPUs. You could do like these settings, or you can do throttle in. If it gets your processor gets too hot, you can forcefully make it slow down so it doesn't overheat or anything. But after you set these settings, I'm gonna go to performance on demand. Actually, no, first, you're going to make sure all these are checked. 
Chew it. Forgot how I did this. I think actually you gotta perform this on the man first. You will check all these. Check all these check marks in all these boxes on both sides of those. Check all those and enable it. Use P state and enable those. You gotta profiles. Then you're gonna have these certain multipliers for your CPU. You times this number by whatever your front side bus is, and it gives you your fre frequency. When I'm using 100% of my, or a good bit of my processor, it multiplies this by the front side bus, and it gives you my it, my processor 1.8 gigahertz right there at 0.195 volts. But if it's on this, it goes down. Uh, like a gigahertz but what you would do is you would have your processors it this is I think what it mine started at those are the original voltages of everything what I did is I started on this one I just yeah, the worst that can happen on the voltage is you can get a blue screen of death which all you have to do is restart your computer and everything will be fine and it reset the settings and you could try again that just means your CPU is un not stable with the voltage and you would have to raise your voltage it starts out at this I started out going like I dropped like to there the first time and then I just dropped like 4 until I got about right there and I started doing like 2 then I started doing 1 at a time dropping it every time to make sure it's stable but Every time see it, this is stock. You can say drop to here. Um you can drop to all the but that one's lower anyway, so it doesn't matter. If you if this one is stable, then this one's automatically gonna be stable as well. So the lowest you can get this one means that's the highest these can get as well. So I'm gonna have set that to there. Once I set it there, you click apply. Then you're gonna go back to or first. You're gonna stress test it. Probably, I did mine for 15 minutes, but you should really do it for about 30 minutes. It's a good stress tester time. Then once you start getting ready or in a voltage, about two hours is probably what you should be doing. And then once you think you're finally done, do like about a six hour stress test or overnight stress test on your CPU and you should be good if like say this this is the highest multiplier say like you can only get up to as low as that voltage and you can get all these and say you can get this one but you can actually get that at this voltage to be able to check to make sure that's stable you can unclick this and it limits how fast your CPU can go so you can CPU, only, CPU can only go this fast so it limits it to that so you can check that voltage to see if it's stable what happens if it automatically changes voltage on this? Even though mine can be all set at 0.95, so all my voltages can go to the lowest because of my CPU. But you can set them at that, and automatically, since I'm recording, it's using a good chunk of my CPU, so just raise it to the max speed, and it doesn't cut off any speed or anything when you're on the clocks so that's a good thing and then you would have it start up it would load these settings like I have here in this program you can have your chip so much CPU you can have this thing in your tray you can have a whole bunch of other graphs and CPU load and stuff in this just play around with it you just need more information you can sign up for this form notebookreview.com and you can read this guide as well or you can just ask a question in the forum and that should pretty much answer all you need to know